Tonight we're hearing from a man who says he lost tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools he needs for his livelihood. Well, now he's asking for the community's help after a crime that was caught on camera. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom has the story from Damascus. Here in Damascus and over Memorial Day weekend, a general contractor says that someone took advantage of his family fun as while he was gone, someone stole his livelihood. You get guys like this that prey on people that are gone. You know, it's, it's, it's really crappy. Curtis Wiegert says he and his family went on a camping trip to Bagby over Memorial Day weekend. And when they got back in cell phone range, they had voicemails from his mother-in-law asking if he had gone out on a contracting job because his work trailer was missing. I mean, I was instantly sick to my stomach, you know. At first, I thought maybe she was choking, and then, it, you know, it sunk in. Once we pulled in, it was like, oh, my God, my trailer's really gone. It's everything. I mean, it, I had everything in there. I mean, it's frustrating. It really is. Swigert says contracting work was kind of a saving grace for him, keeping his head down and doing good, while also providing for his family. When he got home from the trip, he says he called the police and learned his neighbor across the street had captured the crime on camera. Unfortunately, he says you can't see much outside of this white truck pull up, taking time to break his locks and drive off with the trailer, which was devastating for him to watch. You know, I, it, it was a full trailer. You know, I had shelves and racks and, you know, just boxes and buy all my everything is gone. Swigert says over the past 15 years, he's been accruing all kinds of tools like this inside the trailer. He estimates roughly $50,000 worth. Any extra money I got, I got to pay for tools. I work hard for my money and, you know, I don't have a lot of extra money to be going and replacing all these tools and buying a new trailer and it's not right. He says he's not making any profit at this point because before he goes on a job, he's got to buy the tools to get it done. So I constantly remind him of things I need and I got to go spend more money on it and spend more money on it and spend more money on it. He says the loss of his trailer isn't only impacting his work, but also future plans he's made with his family, including some with his wife. It's our 10 year anniversary this year and we were going to renew our vows and have a big ceremony and I, you know, I, I got to replace my tools. I, you know, this is, something, this is my livelihood. I don't have a choice. He's asking people to be on the lookout for this white truck or his trailer, which he says has his company's huge emblem on it, hoping to get his things back and keep his life on track rather than having to backtrack. It's rough, but it's what I got to do. You know, I can't let this defeat me. You know, whoever took my trailer, you know, you, you ain't gonna win. You didn't win. I will come back and I'll come back stronger. Swigert asks that if you see anything or know anything about the whereabouts of his trailer to give the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office a call, which you can find out how to contact on our website, kptv.com. Reporting in Damascus, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.